Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on a new album, and this is Christmas Vibes, and this is the Chow Bala Collection. So this is page one, and it's pretty simple. We're gonna have a pocket and a flap. So the pocket is, I wrote it upside down, nine inches across by three and five in inches tall, and you're gonna score a half inch on three sides. It's gonna go on the bottom of page one. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got some rain here today. Well, <laughs> not by most standards. It's, it's misting, it's wet. <laughs> okay, let me double check, make sure I hit record, I did. All right. All right, so that's in. So the flap is not marked. <laughs> it is, oh, I know why. It's five and a quarter. It's eight inches across, five and a quarter inches tall. Now when we get done, we're gonna have a slight gap between the flap and the pocket. <clears throat> there we go, and you can see that Put something over here you can see. <laughs> Maybe something smaller. <laughs> There's a slight gap here and that's deliberate. <clears throat> we're going to use an insert to hold this flap down when we're done. This is from the scrapbook pad. I think that's what they call it. They all do name it something. Uh, no, they call it paper pad. So this is from the 12 by 12 paper pad. And then they have the second one is the patterns pad. Okay, so I'm confusing myself because my numbers are upside down. Uh, this is gonna get installed oops, like this. And then this is gonna go down here. This is already trimmed to fit. So let's go ahead and put this piece down. <clears throat> Actually, I thought it was. Mm. Okay, it's upside down. Okay, I think we're ready. Ooh, that was tight. <clears throat> Isn't that cute? So if, when this was originally a single piece, this came off this side and this came off this side, and then I wound up with a strip in between. So basically I just shrank the 12 by 12 image to fit the eight by eight album. Now I'm gonna take a little more off to fit this. I need, um, something so I can see my edges better. There we go. So I'm trying to decide if do I want to trim from this side or this side. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of both because I don't want to cut into my star. Okay, so I'll cut a little off the bottom and the rest will come off the top. Okay, a little bit of ink and we'll glue this down. I'm 
I'm using powder puff and mahogany. So doesn't that look nice? Now the two pieces that came off at the eight inch mark, I'm going to make a card out of, and you're gonna need uh, two pieces, and that's because I'm using eight and a half by 11, so I'm using two pieces. Four and a quarter wide by six and five eighths. I'm gonna score a half inch on the six and five eighths inch side, and the second piece is four and a quarter by six and one eight, and we're gonna attach this so that we have a card. <clears throat> <clears throat> and actually I'm going to attach it this way so that this is going to be in the back of the card. <clears throat> And now we have a card that is six and one eighth by four and a quarter. This is gonna go on the inside. I think I might be able to trim a little more off that. And this is gonna be the cover. Yeah, it looks like my, because um, when you lay it down, the hinge sort of moves it forward a little, so I'm gonna trim a little bit off the back page after I get uh, this covered. I'm going to lay it in the trimmer as is, and you can see it's just a little bit long here. <clears throat> and trim that down just a little bit. <clears throat> and when I laid it in the trimmer, I laid it down so that both were going through the trimmer at the same time, so they're exactly the same length now. We've got this card, beautiful place for an image, plenty of space for journaling. If I have extra paper, I may put something here, um, but whatever it is, I want it to be simple so that you've got, uh, you know, a, a nice frame for a photo. Now this is what's gonna go in the pocket and hold everything together. So now we need to decorate the inside and I need a minute to get my paper lined up. Okay, I chose my paper for inside. So this uh, is from the eight by eight pack. Um, so I'm using a 12 by 12 pack a 12 by 12 patterns pack and then an eight by eight paper pack. So I'm gonna use this as the back of the pocket and this is gonna go up here. And as you can see, I've got a gap because it's more than eight inches to cover. So I'm gonna pull back in the strip that came out of the center of this print. So basically um, we're, we're utilizing between the card, the cover, and uh, part of the inside liner, we're using all of this 12 by 12 on page one. And then we're adding an eight by eight to it to get the uh, complete design. I think this green is really pretty. I wish I had more of it. <clears throat> There's a couple of patterns in here I'm not too crazy about. Um, like the kettle, um, the coffee pot. It's not bad, but it doesn't seem to go with um, these patterns, which just look much more realistic. And the, the coffee pot, it's a polka dotted coffee pot, just looks a little cartoonish. Uh, it's a little too stylized for my taste to go with this. 
Um, if you're going to do that, then I think you need to stick with that um, des design aesthetic all the way through, not just have one print like that. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to describe, but I'm sure if I put it side by side, you can go, oh yeah, I see what you mean. So here's that pot I'm talking about, and it just doesn't, I mean, this looks very realistic. I guess these two go together. That's very realistic, so... <clears throat> and those are the images. Uh, there's more of the sort of realistic um, looking images than uh, the more modified, stylized images. I can't remember if I trimmed this down or not. I have not because I'm not using it, dum-dum. I'm using this. <clears throat> that was one of my initial thoughts. <clears throat> I think I've already inked that, so we just need to get it down. <clears throat> okay, and then this is going to be trimmed down and put into this space. There we go. And so when you look at it, you can see that these stripes are being pulled back in up here. I think it turned out nice. <clears throat> And I just think this bird is so pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. <clears throat> it almost reminds me of a hummingbird when they're puffed up. We get we have quite a few of those around here. And when they fluff up, they their bodies look like that. <clears throat> of course their beaks are longer. Lovely, lovely. Page one, no magnets. I think that turned out great. And I can easily see placing photos around and then also adding some photos to the inside of this. So I think it's beautiful. I'm happy with it. And then this just looks wonderful here. Now, if you don't like that, you think this is too busy, I mean, another an alternate would be, you know, a more simple pattern like, say, the, the wood. Um, you could easily put um, put a wood panel in here. It's completely up to you. And I may actually wind up using this on the back and then you could do it either way. Okay, that's it for page one. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. As always, we enjoy having you here over at the channel. And if you take a minute to like, share, and subscribe, it really goes a long way to revealing us to other like-minded um, crafters. And uh, it does a lot for the channel. We really appreciate it. And if you are in the United States or any of its territories, of course, we have a shop, www.scrapandcreate.com. Come on over, take a look. Everything you see here is available in that shop right now, as well as many, many other wonderful things. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.